School supplies are always needed, and in financially troubled times like these, families can be hard-pressed to buy them. Fortunately, SMSD has a partner to alleviate this pressure. And so Ms. Jeanette Rocha, the store manager at the West Airport Walmart location, reached out to me actually a year ago and we established a business partnership with the school. And so at the beginning of this year, we reconnected and said that we definitely wanted to continue our partnership. And so um, she indicated they had some school supplies for our little ones. Would I be interested in receiving them? I said, yes, definitely because we have a lot of families um, in our community that are in need and would truly benefit uh, from having the school supplies, especially in the a time where we are right now. So uh, when I first came to the store as a store manager, I was going through Stafford um, looking for um, some people to partner up with for our community grants. Um, Walmart generously gives um, about $25,000 a year to the community. Um, and when I got here, we didn't have any um, Buddy set up on that. So uh, one of the people that I met with was um, Ms. Hines from the um, from the school. Um, I set up an appointment with her and I just asked her, hey, what is it that we can do to help you out? What do you need? And she was like, really? <laughs> like, what do we need? Um, she was like, where, where, where do we start? Um, just don't know, or maybe you do, that uh, we have a lot of families that are in need. And so they are so excited when they can get things like this and for you guys to be so willing to be here today to help us get it loaded up and to give it to us we truly truly appreciate it and and we appreciate Walmart and we feel like it's a great way for us to partnership and to give back to the community so thank you so much uh, it's our pleasure right guys <laughs> yeah. Yeah. all right um, so we have about uh, we have everything from um, paper to crayons to pencils just everyday school supplies folders binders um, that hopefully that all the kids can find what they need as well as the teachers for their classroom. Some hand sanitizer I think is in there too. <laughs> I don't think that there, you can have enough of that. So, um, so yeah, those are the items that we've donated today. Thank you so much. We'll yeah. do curbside giveaway as well as when our students are scheduled to return face to face October 1st. And so we um, ask the teachers to kind of let, let me know um, the families that are in need because they already have kind of built those relationships and tend to know. Uh -huh. And so we'll definitely make sure those students that come back face to face that are in need receive supplies. And it's even more important now because we want students to have individual supplies uh, rather than, you know, in the past teachers would have community supplies in the classroom. So now each child should be able to have their own individual supplies and not have to share and that will reduce the spread of germs. And then for those families that are continuing with virtual learning at home, we'll be able to support and help them too. I just want to thank Jeanette and again Walmart uh, Corporation as a whole for being willing to reach out to us. It just shows their commitment to, to the community and I definitely wanted to highlight them to let the public know uh, we truly appreciate them um, for caring enough to think about us. For Spartan Spotlight, this is Randall Williams.